late. Uh, I had to take a long break, but uh, this is hole uh, three. I actually practiced this uh, 12 times. Uh, so if you follow these instructions, you will get the albatross. Uh, five top spin, three right spin. Uh, you will need minimum power four ball. If you have only a box four, which is likely, and you play pro, uh, you will have to set up at plus 22. Here I set up at plus 16. For a box seven, it's red ring, touching right rough. A box five and six, uh, one third of the red ring will be in rough to the right. Uh, just max plus 10 power free settings. And you see the curve, if you see the center line. Perfect shot! Uh, you can pause the video and see. It's just cutting through the right side, right part of the shot circle. So just look at that part and you will get it. The same amount of curve every time. Uh, so yeah, on my... Uh, other account. I have an account with only 600 games uh, and APOC 4. I will uh, uh, you set up at plus 22. And if you get a little, little like slight uh, headwind angle, uh, you can either uh, choose to play with the OP or swap to a or use a uh, well, either a Zerk or a, a, a other P5 ball, wind 2 or 3. But if you want to play like free to play, a Zerk will do fine. But uh, if you use only 2 right spin, you will uh, add, need to add some curl. So, uh, 2 right spin, I would use uh, center line uh, touching the right part of the shot circle, outer right part. Uh, and free right spin, you play as I did. I will show one. So, uh, uh, second shot, we play a sniper from above the bunker. You set up always with. Uh, blue ring touching lower bunker and uh, left uh, rough there you see plus plus yards and uh, type in the slider number and uh, we set up so ball guide is short second bounce on fringe and the ball guide is just short of uh, the hole and aimed left edge so the ball guide tip will be exactly aimed left edge and we play minus five percent power four and this is very important, you have to have a 11.59 pull uh, and a pretty, uh, like pretty heavy 11.59 pull. Mm, Perfect shot! Depending on how strong the head uh, is. Depending on how strong the uh, headwind you get uh, you would need to add uh, slight overpower if you get more crosswind uh, you play normal shot if you get uh, more headwind you uh, use a tiny bit of overpower but not much like tiny bit uh, we we'll play it again. I'm gonna show the focus on the pull angle, so you can see. What I'm looking for when I uh, check the wind arrow is uh, always when you're checking wind arrow, you have to check three bounces on the left and three bounces on the right. It always goes three bounces on one side and three bounces on the other. So you want the two bounces over the center line. If you look, one, two, three, and then one, two, and then it goes back. So it, it jumps two times over to the right. 
of the yellow center line. Um, and that's how much 1159 I use. So uh, if you go back in the video, you can see what I mean. It like vibrates back and forth uh, three times on the left, then it uh, vibrates or jumps uh, two times on the right. On the third time, it goes back over to the left. So that's the easiest way I can explain the 1159. Anyway, uh, if you play like this, it's very, very good chance at uh, Albatros. So, uh, all free, good luck.